Did you know that the Altay tank, a fourth-generation main battle tank, is named in honor of Army General Ferretin Altay, who commanded the 5th Cavalry Corps during the Turkish War of Independence? Indeed, this formidable machine didn't just spring into existence, its birth was a result of a strategic initiative called the National Tank Production Project, or MITUP for short, that began in the mid-90s. The purpose of MITUP was to construct a robust infrastructure for the production, development and maintenance of main battle tanks used by the Turkish Armed Forces. This was all part of a bigger plan to fortify the technical capabilities of Turkish defense industries and increase the domestic contribution towards national defense. It was this project that led to the conception of the Altay tank. So, the Altay tank was born out of a strategic national initiative, and its name pays tribute to a crucial figure in Turkish history. The development of Altay tank involved a collaboration of several entities with the project kickstarting on March 30, 2007. This ambitious venture was a partnership between Autokar, a leading Turkish defense company, and the Undersecretariat for Defense Industries of the Republic of Turkey. The goal was clear, to design, develop and produce four prototypes of a national main battle tank, a mission that was worth a solid $500 million. Now, you may wonder, how did a South Korean company, Hyundai Rotem, fit into this picture? Well, they played a pivotal role in providing design assistance and transferring crucial technology to the Turkish team. This collaboration was not just a casual exchange of ideas, it was a structured contractual agreement worth a whopping $540 million. This contract was not just about money, it was about sharing knowledge and expertise. It covered aspects like systems development, armor packages, and the development of a 120mm gun, all essential components for the making of the Altay tank. This contract was a comprehensive package that included the collective wisdom of Hyundai Rotem, Hyundai WIA, and the Agency for Defense Development. This massive undertaking required a substantial budget and the Turkish Ministry of Defense delivered, allocating a cool $1 billion for the development of the Altay. This was a clear testament to the importance of this project to the Turkish Armed Forces and the nation as a whole. The Altay tank is not just a piece of machinery, it's a symbol of national pride and military prowess. This marks the first main battle tank development program in Turkey since 1943, ushering in a new era of Turkish military might. This isn't just about creating a tank, it's about carving a new path in the annals of Turkish military history, a path that leads to a future of self-reliance, innovation, and strength. The first 3D image of the Altay tank was released to the public on April 7, 2010. This momentous event marked the first time the world was introduced to Turkey's ambitious fourth-generation main battle tank. The tank, named in honor of Army General Ferretin Altay, sparked widespread attention and anticipation. The public unveiling of the Altay was met with much enthusiasm, especially from military enthusiasts and defense analysts across the globe. The first glimpse of this modern powerhouse designed by Autocar and to be produced by BMC certainly lived up to its hype. It was clear that the Altay wasn't just another tank, it was a symbol of Turkey's growing prowess in defense technology. The Altay's introduction ignited discussions and speculations about its potential impact on the battlefield. With design assistance and technology transfer from Hyundai Rotem, and a unit cost on par with similar projects, the Altay was perceived as a game-changer in modern warfare. This was the world's first look at a new powerhouse on the battlefield. The Altay tank is not just a formidable machine, it's a marvel of modern engineering. Let's delve into the features and capabilities that make the Altay tank such a powerhouse on the battlefield. The tank is equipped with a 55 caliber 120 mme main gun made by MKE. This is no ordinary artillery piece, it's a high-velocity, rapid-fire cannon that can deliver devastating firepower with pinpoint accuracy. But the Altay is not just about brute force. It also boasts an advanced composite and reactive armor package, designed by Roketsan. This cutting-edge armor package is designed to absorb and deflect incoming fire, protecting the tank and its crew from even the most potent anti-tank weapons. Now let's talk about the tank's electronic systems. These are where the Altay truly shines. The tank features a range of advanced systems such as active protection, remote-controlled weapon and fire control systems. These systems, designed and manufactured by Asilsan, give the Altay an unparalleled edge on the battlefield. The active protection system, for instance, can detect incoming threats and take countermeasures to neutralize them before they can hit the tank. The remote-controlled weapon system allows the crew to operate the tank's secondary weapons from a safe position inside the tank, 
reducing their exposure to enemy fire. Then there's the fire control system. This is the brains of the tank, controlling the main gun and coordinating all the other systems. The Altay's fire control system is the Vulcan 3, a modular system also produced by Asselson. The Vulcan 3 can process vast amounts of data in real time, enabling the crew to make split-second decisions that could mean the difference between victory and defeat. The Altay also features advanced command, control and information systems, allowing for seamless communication and coordination with other units on the battlefield. This makes the Altay not just a tank, but a vital part of the wider battlefield network. The Altay tank thus, stands as a testament to Turkey's technological prowess and strategic foresight. So, what's next for the Altay tank? The Altay, having already proven its prowess as a formidable main battle tank, is not resting on its laurels. The tank's future holds potential for even more advancements and upgrades. One such consideration was the development of an electric engine, a testament to the forward-thinking mindset of its creators. While this idea may no longer be an active consideration, it shows the willingness to push boundaries and explore uncharted territories in military technology. Beyond technological upgrades, the Altay is expected to play a critical role in future military operations. Its superior firepower, advanced armor package and top-tier electronics position it as a key player on the battlefield. The Altay is not just a tank, it's a symbol of Turkey's commitment to military might and technological advancement. As we look to the future, one thing is clear. The Altay tank, a symbol of power and innovation, is set to shape the future of warfare.